we now? One month to go. One month. One month to go. One month to go. One month to SW4. One month before Fatboy Slim in Captain Comedy. This summer I went to South Africa to be the official DJ of the World Cup and did seven shows and five matches, uh, which was great fun. I then went straight to Glastonbury and headlined the dance tent there, which was great fun. And we've been doing festivals in Poland, Vienna, Athens, Dublin, Belfast. Need I go on? I was totally taken over by World Cup fever. Obviously being there uh, in the heart of it, surrounded by the Vuvuzelas, which I do have to say, by the way, a lot more powerful and uh, inspiring when you're at the games. On TV, they sound like kind of annoying, buzzing bees, but when you're there, they're really, really loud and kind of, it's like a, a, you know, a crowd roar, an animal roar. And I found out it's a lot easier watching other teams, like watching Brazil beat North Korea, Holland beat Denmark, and that was all great fun until we went to the England Games and then sadly it got a little bit more tetchy and a little bit more edgy. Got uh, surrounded in, in, in the flavour of the World Cup and, and obviously being there really, really helps. Um, brought up two Vuvuzelas home. <laughs> Vuvuzelas in my sets. Uh, yeah, I was going to play one at Glastonbury and then we left it in my tent. Um, uh, yeah, I think what we're trying to do is because sometimes we use air horns on stage. We're we're trying to work out if you could put the gas of an air horn through a vuvuzela. We reckon that would be pretty loud, and I'm going to try and do that for Clapham. So keep them peeled. Glastonbury was great this year, uh, as everybody knows it was the sunniest yet and that really brings out the best in Glastonbury because it's easy to get around and everyone's very chilled. Everyone seems to be quite, actually quite chilled because I think when the weather's bad everyone just drinks a lot and canes drugs just to get them through it. Whereas everyone in the sunshine, everyone seemed a lot more relaxed and uh, a lot more uh, on it. Uh, but I saw Stevie Wonder, Hot Chip, Muse. Uh, and Plan B. The preparation for a gig is always pretty much the same. Get there on time and make sure the equipment is working and that you've got the biggest show technically you can. Then put on a loud shirt. But that's the same for a big show as for a small one. The, the difference is the, the amount of lighting and production we have. But the, uh, the DJ is, a f is the constant. I don't actually play a lot of inner city festivals. They tend to be kind of fields in the middle of nowhere or beaches. Uh, very few of them, apart from in London, very few of them are actually in the city. I don't know, I think what you try and do is pretend that you're on, on the beach at Copacabana, uh, which will work or not. <laughs> this year's South West Fall will be the best one to date because the weather's going to be fantastic, we've got a really strong lineup, and because this time I'm going to actually properly headline on the stage that I thought I was going to play with with the proper equipment and all the lights and visuals and bangs and whistles and inflatable cows. The only hint I can give about surprises uh, is um, yeah, something that happened at Glastonbury, which if we can do safely, we'd like to do at Southworth 4. I can say no more or else I'd have to kill you.